In July 1960, Jane Goodall began her landmark study of chimpanzee behavior. Her work redefined the relationship between humans and animals. In 1977, she established the Jane Goodall Institute, a global leader in the effort to protect chimpanzees and their habitats. The Institute is widely recognized for innovative, community-centered conservation and development programs in Africa. In 1991, she founded Jane Goodall's Roots and Shoots, the Global Environmental and Humanitarian Youth Program. Her list of accomplishments goes on and on. Our admiration has only grown through the years as she expanded her mission to speak out about the environmental crisis and her reasons for hope that humankind will solve the problems it has imposed on the earth. As little girls, we would eagerly comb through the issues of our dad's National Geographics, hoping to see images of Dr. Goodall and eagerly await her TV appearances to hear of her experiences with chimpanzees. Dr. Goodall has never stopped being a role model and an inspiration to us and millions around the world. She continues to prove that an independent woman can follow her passions and achieve greatness, which is the core message of the Passionistas Project. Dr. Goodall, on behalf of the countless people that you have inspired, it is our honor to present you with this year's Passionistas Persist Icon Award. Well, all I can say is thank you very much, and I'm greatly honored. But who we should really be honoring is the person who made me who I am. And here she is, my amazing mother. Not a particularly good picture of her, but when I was 10 years old and I had read Tarzan and Dr. Doolittle, I determined I'd grow up, go to Africa, live with wild animals and write books about them. And everybody laughed. How will I do that? Africa's far away. It's dangerous. We don't know much about it. You don't have money and you're just a girl. But my mother said, if you really want to do something like this, you're going to have to work awfully hard, take advantage of all opportunities. Then if you never give up, maybe you find a way. And so, so many people, men as well as women, but especially girls, have written or said to me, you know, I want to thank you because you taught me, because you did it, I can do it too. But I take my mother's message around the world. So I'm sitting here in the home where I grew up and so many memories all around. My mother, my strong grandmother, my strong aunt, they're wonderful, wonderful role models. And so I sort of thank you in a way, honoring them at the same time. Thank you so much.